Men are treating their wives like it's the 1800s. Welcome back to TradCon Dinner, where my conservative, traditional, submissive, homeschooling wife makes me amazing meals. You know what? Great. Yeah, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, it, it makes for good content and uh, good food as well. <laughs> I stumbled upon this internet phenomenon like how any story starts these days. Scrolling. Or actually, I should say, video research. I was scrolling and this man appeared. And since my algorithm knows me better than my own parents, you bet I watched it. How the US Forest Service fires a wood stove. Split your billet into three sizes. Small, medium. Uh, you get the idea, it's just nice, good, wholesome, easy, nice content. And for a YouTube short, 10 out of 10. His content is basically made up of homesteading videos, you know, tips to run your home in the country. And you know, I'm partial to this type of content and that YouTube short really fulfilled that. So naturally this positive engagement meant that this gentleman kept on appearing on my phone. Oh, you don't like wart scratchy? Well, grow up. He was always there to shed light on what types of axes to buy, how to oil the axe handles, or like chopping down trees. He's always chopping down trees. Timber! And then YouTube gets to the point where they're like, we've shown him all the broad appeal, highly viewed videos. We're gonna have to go deeper. <gasps> deeper? Deeper. And that means we're gonna have to show him the other videos? Yes. So I'm all snug in bed and suddenly I get caught off guard with this. This is the first night of me grounding my bed. I ran the tape across here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it works. Right. Right. And even still, YouTube is like, We must go even deeper. Uh, but sir, if we go any deeper, we risk losing the viewer. <laughs> but it also gives us a better chance of keeping them engaged. Well, okay, sir. Or well, whatever you say. <laughs> I've been asked to weigh in with what's going on in Israel and Palestine. Mmm. Right, okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Not today. Not now. Uh, well, so what do you mean people have been asking you to weigh in? I didn't realize you were CNN's Palestine correspondent. <laughs> As if you're the go-to man for international affairs. So we have every source covering the matter. But there's only one man I get my information from. Oh, the man that wears a wool nightcap to bed. Not sleeping well at night? Wear a nightcap. Our fathers did. The bed in which he grounds into his wall every night. This is the first night of me grounding my bed. Uh, this is how I implemented it. Yeah, him. He's the only one I want to hear from on this matter. It really does represent people's dependency on his word. Cut some wood up. Timber! Speak confidently and have some uh, really, really nice equipment. And they snap in here, and then you can lower them down into the eye position. His channel basically represents tips that dads give to their sons like it's the 1950s. Here's how the US Forest Service refills the gas in their cars. First, you'll need a light source. Anyway, you go deeper and deeper into his channel and you become more mystified. Fold back on itself until you meet the edge of the front hand pocket and fold over. Oh, he's just folding clothes. Why is he suddenly folding clothes? Is this masculine? Since going barefoot, losing my shoes, my strength, vitality, flexibility, and athleticism has went back to, I feel like I'm 25. Take off your shoes. Maybe you should stop ruining your health wearing shoes that are putting your feet in an unnatural position and keeping you from being grounded. Wait. He's been barefoot for the past five videos I've watched. Is that considered masculine? Gentlemen, I'm going to share with you a Thanksgiving hack that will change your life. Mrs. W can make fresh whipping cream in seconds. Okay, now he's doing food tutorials. Surely this isn't considered masculine. I can imagine an avid watcher of this channel going, Fold over. Yeah, dude, that's hella useful. Take your shoes off. Dude, I gotta try that. Maybe my dependency on shoes is why I can't get a wife. Can make fresh whipping cream in seconds. I can make whipped cream from whipping cream? Dude, yeah. this is a father I never had. So it turns out he isn't just this handy dandy wood cutting tips and tricks man. He's a big time libertarian. Or so I gather. With a whole range of videos displaying traditional home values, some he might deem parody or satirical, and others just straight up. I do not care about Ukraine. I don't care about Ukraine. No sir, tell me. Are you aware of the iron, steel, and oil that your country received from Ukraine? Yeah, don't care. But whether this is a facade, an exaggeration of his true beliefs, all made up, or just all what he believes, it's funny. And although watching his insanity plummet in recent years is funny enough, like someone with no job and a lot of free time, I scan through every short he has uploaded featuring his wife. Good morning. We are officially on Wife Watch. Let's go, dude. This isn't weird. This isn't weird. This isn't weird. 
This isn't weird. It isn't weird. It's not weird. He has a series of videos where he shows off the food that his wife has kindly prepared for him. Goodness, just when I thought it couldn't get any better, breakfast burritos. Good morning. <laughs> I'll have it. And on the surface, that's nice. It's the equivalent of taking a photo of the food you've been given at a restaurant and then showing it off to your friends on WhatsApp. But the only difference with this man's videos is that people actually respond. Loads of people. I had to find a Polish woman. Wait, his name is Scotland2306. I had to find a Polish woman to finally see a real woman. <laughs> actually, he probably sounds more like... I had to find a Polish woman to finally see a real womanly woman. Homemaker, caretaker, friend, and more. God bless real women. 293 likes, including one from the man himself. And this is the moment you realise... This isn't a man respectfully showing off his food to his friends. He's showing off what his wife can do for him. Good morning. He just swoops into the kitchen after uploading a YouTube short of him stuffing aluminium foil into his clothes. Protect your noodle from all of the negative rays. Now you're ready to go out into the world. Stay grounded, beloved. And then immediately goes straight to the food as if it's a side effect of her existence. Goodness, just when I thought it couldn't get any better, breakfast burritos. Good morning. <laughs> I'll have it. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. They're tacos, by the way, but he'd probably say he said it wrong on purpose to create controversy and boost the algorithm. Anyway, the wife just wants to say, good morning. Good morning. And put on an overly smiley smile and a forced exhale of air, which is meant to be a laugh. <laughs> but he's just focused on those lovely burrito tacos. I'll have it. Oh, and someone also commented, I don't do tortilla. I'm a meat and potatoes guy. Mexican food is garbage. And this isn't just one video of him doing this. This is a regular on his channel. What has wife made for me today? Mrs. W and I are having a disagreement. I made the statement that this charcuterie board is the most feminine thing I've ever seen and there's not one thing on there that a man would want to eat. And what would you say? I said every man I know except for you would love to eat it. Give me your vote. Is there anything on there? Cheese? As a man you Her would want to eat or is that completely olives? feminine? Ah, yes. Feminine cheese. The most feminine thing he's ever seen. Cool. In that case, he must be really, really masculine. Not to break her down or anything, but it literally looks like she's just chucked some bird feed and a baby bell onto a chopping board. Am I overanalyzing or is this not a normal wife-husband conversation? I made the statement that this charcuterie board is the most feminine thing I've ever seen and there's not one thing on there that a man would want to eat. And what would you say? This has got to be the most feminine thing I've ever seen. I said every man I know except for you would love to eat it. Look at her in the beginning. They were clearly debating this for 10 minutes beforehand. Otherwise, she'd be looking like this. Good morning. Her natural resting face. <laughs> And the attitude she's giving at the end, she can't lash out and give her an opinion because she must submit! Especially when she's on camera to the world. But inside, she's screaming. When he stopped recording, she was like <laughs> And the same thing occurs over and over again. Where she's busy being busy, and he is busy not being busy. Very nice. Bon appetit! Nothing like having a trad con. <laughs> Nothing like having a trad con. Referring to a... Uh, traditional conservative. Oh, that's just so sweet. It warms my heart. <laughs> More precious than rubies, this one. Like he found her deep in the mines and now he's just showing her off to his friends on YouTube. She's just stood there almost like she's posing for a photo. And this happens again and again and again. And when she isn't out carrying her small pocket knife, it's happening again and again and again. And there's a point where it just gets quite sad and you think am i supposed to be watching this is this for me is he accidentally uploading his home videos you know i'm just trying to make you happy i don't know anything about tricon i just we make each other happy right well beautiful it's the i'm just trying to make you happy no that's good relationship goals right there but it's giving stepford wives good morning But let's say ever since she was a little whippersnapper, she always dreamt of dedicating her life to this man here. Stop being a spineless wussy. Wool is best, it's warmest. Feeding him, presenting yourself well for him, existing for him. Let's say she always dreamt of that. I say, bravo! I might as well get up and leave the room because that's just fine. That is just fine. I just can't imagine that being the case though. I just try to make you happy. Like, is that really your soul? Is that your sole function? She really needs a software update because this is 2023. You don't have to do that anymore. Unless 
the husband is purposefully not connecting her to the internet so she can't get an update. <laughs> She's like, hey honey, do you have the Wi-Fi password? And he's like, well, I can't give that to you because then you would turn yourself into a modern woman. Also, as soon as she says that, the camera immediately pans down to the food. He doesn't pay her a compliment back. I don't know anything about Tricon. I just think we make each other happy, right? Well, beautiful. He just looks at the food and goes, well, beautiful. Because us men, we like food. In that right ledge. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. What's a secret to a man's heart? Well, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that in public, can I? No, you can't. <laughs> This comment basically sums it up. I'm convinced he's holding her hostage because I've never seen a wife that happy in my life. I've never seen a wife that happy in my life. See, originally I thought his comment was good, but he's never seen a wife that, that's actually really, that's really sad. 450 likes, okay, well, we live in a good world, don't we folks? I think it's clear what he's doing. He's trying to annoy people by doing it all over the top to probably drive engagement. And ladies, remember, if you want to keep your man happy, you just have to follow the three S's. Sandwich, silence, and I to shut up. The, the video just ended there, so I'm guessing that's what he was gonna say. But at the same time, trying to re-normalize this lifestyle, no matter how much he calls this parody, comedy, or satire, the underlying meaning, the root message, still gets through to the people. And not any person, this type of person. And it's working, it's making him loads of money. Loads of money. You gotta be able to afford those hoverboards for your children somehow. <laughs> and finally, in the last one, she's cosplaying as a Harry Potter house elf. What's this? I had, I thought I would get you. <laughs> Sorry, I snuck in. I used the key. I knew you were locked and working on a video. But Did you I make thought, this for I me? I thought you needed a little. Is that a Swedish cardamom bun? Yes, I, I would Could love to. you sit that on my bench for me? Yes, I can. I imagine this one's completely staged, but she looks so nervous and apprehensive that I do worry for her. <laughs> Sorry, I snuck in. I used the key. I knew you were locked and working. Even when she walks all the way in there to deliver his meal, he's like, I would love you to sit that on my bench for me. Yes, I can. Put it down over there. Yes, master, of course, and right away. <laughs> I, I can't say that I made those. She didn't make those? Divorce. 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 Send her to the gallows. Um, according to my calculations, the fact that she didn't make the pastry makes her a liberal. <laughs> At this point, if the camera turned around, he's probably stood there crossing his arms with a lawyer beside him with a stack of divorce papers. I mean, she crossed, let's, okay, for real, she crossed the line not making the pastry, right? I mean, like, jokes aside, the fact that she, you know, thought she could get away with just buying it from the shop and not making it. That is insane. If my mum did that to me, if my mum bought something from the shop without spending um, like a, a minute of time actually like, you know, making it, I don't even want to say. I'd leave. I'd leave. I'm joking. Mum, you can buy me anything you want from the shops, please. But I, I did work hard to purchase it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just I too busy the living the dream to be worried about that. Thank you, baby. Too busy living the dream, the dream that she would have spent hours actually making the bun. The relief on her face when she realizes her allowance won't be deducted from buying the pastry from the shop. <laughs> I was just... But really, it makes you think, what else did she think she could get away with buying from the shop? I don't suppose she actually bought the clothes rather than hand stitching them. I don't suppose she refilled her car at the station rather than digging into the ground with her bare hands to find an oil deposit that she slurps up and spits into her car. I don't suppose she actually bought the plastic Tupperware rather than processing the oil herself and making it. Makes you think, traditional wife? Whew. No, I don't know about that. At the end of the day, she's the one going out and providing. I did work hard to purchase It them. doesn't matter. And here he is doing Zoella food vlogs. Roasted pecans, fresh fruit bowl, and homemade bread. I mean, compare this to uh, seven years ago when uh, his wife was driving whilst he was giving her the, 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 the card of a bun. Would you like one? Of course. <laughs> you want me to kind of break it up for you or can you just eat it like an apple? I'll eat it like an apple. We have a homemade Thai soup. You're the only conservative that eats Thai soup. Mmm. Right. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, this is the same person that said Mexican food was garbage, so... 
I don't think he's a fan of foreign cuisine. Another comment. My wife was dying listening to that. It's true though. Feed a man, keep a man. It's not that hard, ladies. It's not that hard, ladies. It's not that hard. Also, when he says his wife was dying listening to that, she was literally dying. He keeps her in a cage and there's spikes all around it so she doesn't get too rowdy or on the on the bars. Another comment. Still don't know what your fancy words mean, but enjoy your food, my friend. <laughs> Conservative, traditional, submissive, homeschooling wife. I don't know if this was a joke or if he actually thought these terms were fancy because most of his audience do not know the meaning of the words conservative, traditional, homeschooling, or probably wife, let's be honest. She deserves better than Christian slavery. <laughs> Got to do a little jig in uh, celebration of that comment because hit the Christian on the head there. Unfortunately, younger American men are required to look outside the country for a real woman. American women are completely compromised. You hear that, lads? The American women, none left. <laughs> none left. <laughs> what does that mean? Compromised? By what? He says it with such seriousness, as if it's like an alien invasion. As if they've all been infected with some a space disease. Well boys, we're out of luck. They've all been compromised. We better go to Taiwan. Your wife is a true diamond. Literally won the best prize. 570 likes. So far she's been compared to minerals. Minerals. That's what she always dreamt of. That's what she always desired. To be compared to a mineral. This is called mutual respect. So sweet. What a happy, happy life. No, yeah, I, I do agree. The uh, husband makes money off of YouTube with ad revenue and the uh, wife cooks and cleans all day. Feminists around the world just hissed in anger. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a gas leak in my home. <laughs> I was scared for a moment. But yeah, it just turns out it was all the feminists hissing at once. It definitely wasn't the 250 people that liked the comment and just decided to get angry at no one. Feminists! Can you imagine a little fire pit, sitting, looking, enjoying? It's gonna be great. You should always listen to your husband. Always? Always. Even when no one asked and his wife is just being happy, he's just there with his camera filming her. Always listen to your man. You've got to remind your woman of the reality. Otherwise they forget because they're a bit stupid. You gotta be kidding me. Have you looked outside? In my document, I listed this as actually nice. A beautiful kitchen with a snowy backdrop. I mean, maybe this lifestyle isn't so bad after all. If this is what you can achieve with a trad wife, then, huh. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna bump into someone on the street on purpose, pretend it was an accident, and then we'll get married in six months. Uh, but come seven months, I'll put them into Christian slavery. It's fine though, everyone does it. Francesca, have you done my chores? You forgot to wash my shoelaces. Where are you? It's the third week of April. Third week of April. Have you looked outside? Have you looked outside? I think we need to move. Have you thought of Arizona? <sighs> what is this video? I think we need to move. Have you thought of Arizona? I was joking about Stepford Wives before, but now look at her. Have you thought of Arizona? <sighs> Actually insane. The way she twitches her head whilst keeping her whisking motion constant. This is, this isn't, this isn't human. <sighs> Chicken. But naturally, instead of responding to her, he exhales, <sighs> ignores her, and his eyes go straight to the food that she's made. Chicken. <gasps> Chicken. Good to have a trad card. Good to have a trad card. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Anyway, with all that being said, you can still trust this man because of his other good takes. For example, he doesn't read this book because it was written by a woman. Manly Manners is written, was written by a woman in 1913. Why is a woman giving instruction to men? You know, I don't think I want to, I don't think that I want to read Manly Manners anymore. I think maybe we need to write our own Manly Manners. And ladies, remember, if you want to keep your man happy, you just have to follow the three S's. Sandwich, silence. And I say fair play, you know, he knows what he wants. I, res I respect that. Hey, your girl a feminist, my girl traditional, my girl conservative, your girl a liberal. A video of another YouTube video about a man singing his little heart out about homemakers. Hmm, yes. It really does make you think. So yeah, this is Wrangler Star. Once again, he states his content is parody or satirical, which 
Sometimes I do believe because this is not a real human interaction. I think we need to move. Have you thought of Arizona? <sighs> but still, this man is not a liberal. He is a libertarian. An independent, hard-working individual who takes nothing from no one, including his wife. Get one more pastry from the shop and he's taking your allowance. Back in the day, his content used to be wholesome, like... <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm, I haven't told, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. Yesterday, I binged maybe 20 of his videos. And you know, since, since I've been editing this for a couple more days, yeah, let's just say, let's just say I've watched a, a, few, a few more, you know, just a bit. I, I'm not, I don't want to explain myself. He, one video is making crayons, like big crayons from, a, 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 you know, he saw how sharp he could make the butter knife. That was good. <laughs> Yeah. What is, uh, what is Trad caught up to today? Oh, Cody, you're terrible. This is completely parasocial, but the, the way she goes, Oh, Cody, you're terrible. Oh, Cody, you're terrible. It's just, she's probably so sick of it at this point. How's my Tradcon slave doing? <laughs> oh, Cody, stop. <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> she's just minding her own business, then he just storms in like, Hey, Trad wife. How are you doing? But also, she seems nice, and they're just having a nice family time, and here I am <laughs> critiquing it. What am I doing? But what about the rest of the internet? He's not the only person to praise this way of living. Shut please. My watch. Shut my shoes. Launch. Thank you. I'm 99.999% 99 .99 sure this is in jest. But this is seriously how some men see themselves living the dream. Shut my Woman, lace my shoes, unlace my shoes, lace my shoes, whisper praise into my ear, unlace my shoes. I could have my Gucci on, I could wear my Louis Vuitton, Have people forgotten what a POV means? Because this means her husband's point of view is just stood there watching her all day. Should he not be busy at work winning the bread? That's that's what you do, right? Also, what is what is this? What is that? Posing in front of her oven. What a fun and inspiring life you lead. This is copyrighted music. I think. I think it is. It probably is. Just to be safe, it is. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm not monetized. And finally this one. She couldn't look happier whilst doing what she supposedly loves. Meanwhile, stuff about Jesus and God appears on screen. I'm a Christian, and I believe my purpose and calling in life is to care for serve my family, if my husband, the way Jesus does for his children. Like, I really don't understand what I'm looking at. Also, get off TikTok. Little Jeremiah has just wet the bed and your husband's back in 20 minutes and he expects a fully cooked hot meal to be waiting for him. Also woman, I do hope you're wearing heels. It would be a great shame if you were experiencing comfort in your own home. So that was that, an insight into that. If you are a woman, keep your head down. Like I'm saying that for your own good, all right? Keep your head down, don't really question anything. Like really, this is for your own good. And if you are a man, just rock on. <laughs> like you're in a really great position right now and like, you're on top of the world. <laughs> like, uh, you know, nothing can get in your way. So just, yeah. I mean it. I really do. And uh, if you're neither of those, just... Um, don't, don't tell these types of people. Just don't, don't do it. All right. See ya. Off to find a wife. Off to find a wife. Oh, they're all out of all out of wives at the wife shop. Guys, please subscribe. Please like the video. I'm out here on the battlefield, yeah, watching all this stuff, editing all this stuff. Stuff that I would actually watch anyway, to be honest. But that's not the point. That's not the point. Do you know how hard it is to watch? All these hours of footage of yourself and then editing it for like three days straight. Oh, it's treacherous. It's really tricky. No, but really, thank you for watching. And if you just skip to the end, to this section here. Mm, yeah, I can't complain, like, honestly. Um.
Thank you. Oh wait, I already did it. I already did an outro. This is second outro, double outro. Let's go. Welcome back, gentlemen, to TradCon Lunch, where I share the amazing meals my traditional homeschooling conservative wife makes for me. Welcome back, brothers, to TradCon Lunch, where I share the amazing meals my traditional homeschooling conservative wife makes for me. Battery and CPU are located approximately right here. The limb articulators are located at the top of the four.